What's going on guys? I'm the Maha Mechanic and today I'm going to be showing you how to plumb a wastegate and a blow-off valve in addition to explaining how they work and the differences between the two of them. So let's get into it. So the difference between a wastegate and a blow-off valve on a turbo setup is essentially that a wastegate is located on the exhaust or the hot side and the blow off valve is located on the cold side. So they both serve their purposes of relieving pressure, but they go about it in different ways. So the wastegate here, as um, exhaust gases flow through, in this case, the uh, turbo manifold into the turbo, the uh, wastegate acts as a release valve so it doesn't overboost the turbo. So when people refer to um, their, their turbo setup being on wastegate or being on a wastegate spring, uh, this is what they mean. A stock wastegate spring, as you can see, there's some in here. It has a, a, a compression load to it. And this is measured out to be um, where, whatever rating it is, whether it's five pounds, of boost or whatnot. And that's basically what controls how much boost the turbo makes. By limiting the amount of exhaust going to the turbo by dumping it out of here, um, I'll put up a uh, picture of what a wastegate looks like on the screen right now, just so you can see the other end of this. Um, but basically there's a valve inside that opens up when uh, the boost pressure gets to a certain level or uh, to, to overcome the spring. And once the, overco once the spring gets overcome with that boost pressure, it opens the valve and lets out um, all, the, all the unwanted exhaust. <clears throat> so it logically follows that uh, it, is, it should be connected to the turbo. Uh, so this is where I have mine on this setup. I have there's a nipple on the turbo, and I'm just taking a boost reference from there, rounding it to the um, bottom uh, port on the wastegate. So a wastegate will have two ports. <clears throat> Again, put a picture up on the screen. The top port is for um, boost control, uh, like CO2 gases to be put in there, and the uh, bottom port is for your boost reference. Now, you're not only limited to the spring that you put in there. If you put in a, um, say a 10 pound spring and you wanna make 15 pounds of boost, that is possible, but not without a boost controller. So how CO2 boost controllers work, they take CO2 from a bottle or wherever you have in the car and they, they pressurize the, the top portion of the wastegate and this put, puts pressure on the valve and, and, and it keeps it shut. So it basically adds more spring rate to that spring. Um, and in doing so, it'll keep the valve closed longer until the uh, turbo builds up enough boost on the bottom end to force that spring up and, and lift that valve. So it's a basically a two chamber type deal. You have a top chamber that's connected, that has the spring in it, and um, is where your boost, you know, pre your boost um, controller goes, your CO2 and everything goes on the top, and that forces the valve closed. And on the bottom half, which is your second port, you have your boost side where, where boost is introduced or positive pressure, and that positive pressure underneath forces up the valve um, because the, there's more pressure in that that chamber than the, than what's on the top. So if there's low pressure on the top, high pressure on the bottom, it's gonna move towards the low pressure, thus opening the valve. So that's why we run our bottom port on our wastegate. Um, if your wastegate just has one port, then it's just a boost reference and you're not able to use a boost controller with it. <clears throat> but if it has two, you run it to the bottom reference or the bottom port to a, a boost reference of some sort. Now, I like to do it before the throttle body 
Um, just because A, it's more convenient because right here on the turbo already has a nipple. Um, and if you put it closer to the turbo, then it's gonna react faster because boost lag um, is not just from the turbo. Boost lag is from the amount of piping that you have um, from the turbo to the engine. And see, we have to go all the way down here, all the way through the intercooler, back up, all the way from over here into the throttle body. And that takes time. So to keep it from over boosting, you wanna put your boost reference source for the wastegate closer to the turbo um, so that it reads the uh, amount of boost that the turbo is making at that specific time and not it doesn't wait um, to open until this could be making seven pounds of boost but over here it's only reading five pounds of boost so you're over boosting your turbo um, a little bit before the um, wastegate actually opens. So that's basically what a wastegate does. Um, now we need to talk about what a blow-off valve does, right down here. Blow-off valve, put a picture up on the screen, uh, goes on the cold side of the turbo setup and air goes in through the bottom or through a, a hole in the, uh, in the charge pipe. And ideally you wanna have this after, or after the intercooler just before the throttle body for it to be optimal. And this one, you're just gonna route a, a line. As you can see, I have one of my lines here to the top of the blow-off valve. And then you're just gonna run it, wanna run it to a manifold reference. So the reason why you wanna do it to a manifold reference and not just a regular boost reference like we did here is because if the turbo is making boost and you're, say you're wide open throttle, so your throttle plate instead of being like this, is oh wide open like this, letting air pass through. So this is closed, this is open. If it's all the way open, and then you get off the gas, but the engine RPM is still, let's say 4,000 RPM, it's a decently high RPM, and uh, that's gonna be pushing exhaust gases out at the same speed. Well, if, if the exhaust gases aren't changing, and um, the, the turbo is still boosted up to whatever it can boost, say 10 PSI, then air is gonna be pushed against the throttle plate or boost pressure is gonna be pushed against the throttle plate and create an immense amount of pressure because there's no place for the air to go um, besides back to the turbo. And that's when you can start blowing up uh, a turbo or popping couplers off and, and stuff like, or damaging your engine. So a uh, blow valve is put in place to relieve that pressure before the uh, throttle plate. So when you're going, you're going uh, full throttle. So throttle plate like this, you get off the gas, goes like this. And um, behind here, um, behind the throttle plate, the uh, manifold will now be reading vacuum. Once it's reading boost like this, and then it closes, and now it's reading vacuum because it's not letting any air pass. So if this is reading vacuum, the manifold is reading vacuum, and this is reading boost, it's basically the same thing as a wastegate, but instead of pushing a spring, it just, it sucks the, um, the valve open. If that makes any sense, it sucks it open. So I'll put up another diagram here. You have vacuum coming to the top, and there is a little spring in there, but that's only just to keep it closed, and it's not to, uh, it, it, there's a common misconception that the spring is there to control boost as well, which is definitely not. It's only there to keep it closed at, at idle. Boost is getting sent to the top. As you can see in this diagram, boost is getting sent to the top. And, uh, and then once the throttle plate closes, or the, the throttle body closes, then the manifold has vacuum and the charge pipes have boost. And since the uh, blow valve is connected to a manifold reference, it will be in, in, the, in the chamber, basically only has one chamber, in that chamber, it will be reading a, a, uh, a vacuum number. So it will kind of do the opposite of what a wastegate does. Instead of pushing a valve open, 
that that vacuum pressure, that negative um, pressure in there, in that top chamber, will suck the the valve open, thus letting air pass through and out of the uh, charge pipe without there being um, a large amount of pressure. So, yeah, that's basically the rundown of how a, a wastegate and a blow-off valve work. Um, as you see here, I'll go over it one more time on how to route them. You want to route a, a blow-off valve to a manifold reference or a, a reference behind the throttle body. Uh, you can see here, mine's routed here, round down over here. I have a T for my boost gauge that you can watch the install on up here. Um, and then we come down more and it goes right on there. Get a light to show you here. Right there on one of my charge pipes is the bluff valve. And then we got our wastegate here. You can kind of see the other side there, it's a V-band. Um, but over on this side, <clears throat> over on this side right here, you can see where the light, this side over here, that's where the, uh, the exhaust gas, gases come out. Still haven't made a, an exhaust pipe for that, but that's coming soon. The top port is what I have my uh, boost reference line to, and the bottom port is kind of right behind that. You can see, there we go. You can see our, our two nipples there. And the top one, I am leaving open because I don't have any uh, boost controller. I don't have a boost controller to to do anything with with that. So um, if you don't, if you're not running a boost controller and you have a dual port um, wastegate, then you just leave the top one open and uh, plumb your boost reference to the bottom port. So yeah, hope you found this video informative. If you did. Please be sure to like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, no matter your experience or your skill level, keep on improving.